IGTV, Instagram's latest vertical video platform, has just dropped. And if you're a content creator, you need to be thinking vertical. Okay, so first of all, I think it's really important to answer Instagram's call for vertical video. And even if it feels unintuitive, those of us who shoot video with a social media audience in mind need to add a little upright phone action to our shots. But what if you've already got loads of really cool 16 by 9 horizontal content, unused sequences from previous edits? The value of IGTV to me is that I can use footage like the stuff that I shot traveling the world with my family for the last year, or reformat footage that I didn't use on YouTube, with a new audience in mind. So here's how to convert existing horizontal, cinematic, 16 by nine, whatever you want to call it, footage into usable vertical video for use in IGTV. I'm using Premiere as my editing package, but if you're using different software, then why not let us know how you'd go about doing a similar job in your editing package of choice in the comment section below this video. Here's an example of some footage that I shot before we left to travel the world for a year. So it's about a year and a half old and it's of my DeLorean. Now I put together a YouTube video while I was traveling the world. Uh, I shot it before we left, but I put it together a few weeks into our trip called Pagani versus DeLorean Selfie Challenge. You can find it on my YouTube channel. I'll put a link in the description. I shot loads of footage during a day spent in Knightsbridge trying to see which car my DeLorean or a million dollar Pagani wire would get the most selfie attention, which car got photographed the most. It's a great idea for a YouTube video, but I've got lots of footage left over. And it's the sort of thing that I think IGTV viewers might find really amusing. So just as an example, I've decided to import that footage into Premiere and show you how I select the right area of that widescreen footage to view vertically and what settings you need to achieve that. If you're using Premiere, the first thing you're going to have to do is create a new sequence. You do that using File, New, click Sequence, and you're immediately presented with a bunch of sequence presets. Now, we're going to ignore that and go straight to Settings. Make sure the editing mode is custom, and then go down to the frame size. And what you're going to do, if like me, you edit in 1080p, you're going to need to switch around the horizontal and vertical pixel dimensions. 1080 by 1920 and you'll see that the word vertical 9 by 16 pops up that's how you know you've got the correct dimensions the next thing you need to do is really important you need to change the pixel aspect ratio you need it to say square pixels 1.0 that way your 9 by 16 box will be the exact size required by IGTV to not distort your vertical output save that as a preset give it a name that you'll remember Click OK and it'll turn up alongside all the other presets that we chose to ignore at the start of this section. And there it is, your horizontal preview window has now become a vertical window. There's my footage, I've pulled it back in now and I'm able to scroll through it. And importantly, of course, I've got a lot more footage to look at than the vertical window allows me to see in the preview. And that's important because you now need to think about what you want to show your viewer. You need to be selective. You need to play the auteur, the director, and decide where you want to direct the viewer's eyes within your original wide field of view. Obviously, I want them to concentrate on the car. And so I've moved that window into a position that focuses on the DeLorean. I'm losing a lot of good stuff that contextualizes this image, but that's part of the vertical video journey. Uh, and that's why shooting originally in vertical format is a good idea, as I mentioned at the start of the video. I'm happy with that though. I can see the DeLorean, it's very clear. And I can also see lots of people slowly starting to gather around the car uh, and take photographs. And now the video swings over to the Pagani, which, as luck would have it, doesn't have a lot of people taking pictures of it at that moment in time. So I'm just going to mess with the edit a little bit. I'm going to zoom into the Pagani just to, to guide the viewer a little bit so you can see the car so that it all makes sense. And now I'll accelerate the rest of the edit and show you the finished article in the timeline. 
There's a nice bit of footage that I've just dragged in of the flux capacitor. I've decided to keep that in the center of the frame with black letter boxing above and below it. Uh, and that's because I want to put some titling in. I'm using a font that's part of my default template. It's called Bebas New. And that's it. You export in the same way that you normally would, except what you end up with, instead of 16 by 9, is 9 by 16 video. You can then upload to IGTV directly from your computer, or of course, sideload it to your smartphone. So, IGTV, are you using it? Have you got a good reaction from it? I think it's a really great opportunity to get in early and really establish a new audience for your Instagram and all the other social media stuff that you're involved with. If you've got your own tips for converting 16 by nine to vertical format video, let me know. In fact, I'm interested in anything you have to say about IGTV, YouTube, and social media in general. Let me know in the comments section. And while you're at it, wanna give us a like and a subscribe. That way, you'll be the first to know when all the cool content I've got incoming hits the channel. Thanks for watching.